what's happening guys it's your boy drop by legend here and today is going to be the quarter final predictions yes guys so we already had the round of 16 as you know as you guys already know eight teams are going through eight teams we have to say goodbye to and now we have the elite eight as i like to call it so without further ado let's get started so Friday the 9th of December is going to be Croatia against Brazil. Now Croatia had to go penalties against um, Japan who were a very very good team this tournament. Japan I mean they played very well. Unfortunately their penalties were not up to scratch. Croatia their penalties was so that's the reason why they're going through. As for Brazil they managed to cruise past um, um, South Korea pretty easily to be honest. I mean they didn't um want to cause it they didn't want to be a team that wanted to be knocked out early brazil are one of the favorites now Croatia and brazil Croatia, you know what you know what i mean you know what i like about Croatia, right they're underdogs right they don't take they don't, many teams don't many people don't really take Croatia that seriously but they're, they're, they made that underdog mentality you know they're not really the favorites to win this game as for brazil they are the favorites to go through i think it will go to penalties, and I think Croatia might do it. So I'm going for a Croatia win over Brazil. Holland against Argentina. Now, Holland managed to get past USA by three goals to one, while Argentina had to beat, um, I believe, Australia by two goals to one. Australia did do well to not lose um, that badly. I mean, they did well to get to the knockout stages first and foremost, but Argentina just had that bit of quality into them to get them through the top periods of the match now Holland and Argentina Van Dijk against Messi it's gonna be a good one and I think Holland can actually beat Argentina so I'm going for a Holland win Saturday the 10th of December of December it's gonna be the first game Morocco against Portugal now Morocco had to be Spain on penalties beating the 2010 champions or 2010 World Cup winners I should say um, to get to these um, quarterfinals, was Portugal managed to do well without Ronaldo. Ronaldo was on the bench against Switzerland. I mean, they literally dismantled Switzerland six goals to one, I believe. And hmm, I think Portugal without Ronaldo, they they do do better without him. I think when Ronaldo's playing, then it becomes a bit more selfish because Ronaldo is he's a big name player, obviously. You know, um, Champions League winner, Premier League winner, Bayern the winner. You know. Got some of the achievements, and you know I think Portugal are a good side without him, and but with him, they are not the not the same as for Morocco. They're proven to be a no nonsense sort of team. They have done very well to get to this stage, but I see nothing but Portugal win. And now the main event, the main event is going to be England versus France. Now England beat Senegal by three goals to nil. As France beat it, um, Poland by I think three goals to nil as well. Now France are the world champions as well. They, are, they did win it in 2018, remember in Russia. So they are the world champions. As for England, they did get to like the semi-finals, losing to Croatia in 2018. Oh, this one, I need, I need to think about this. You know, I need to really think about this one. Because the, the other three are we four by already, but this one I need to properly think. Oof. If England can beat France, that would be great. They'll beat the world champions, and I'll say England got a very good chance to actually win this whole thing, to be honest with you. Oof. Everyone's gonna be saying about Kylian Mbappe, Kylian Mbappe, Kylian Mbappe, but it's not just Mbappe, guys. Don't forget, there's, there's like 10 other players around him, you know. You still got Griezmann, you still got Usman Dembele, you still got Olivier Giroud. They've got good players, France. It's France. Like, <laughs> the, the, their squad is literally ridiculous. You can't just think about Bappe and forget about other people. Right? But if England wants to win this game, they're going to have to be switched on from the first whistle all the way to the last whistle. I'm going to say England to beat France at extra time. So I'm going for an England win. Those are my predictions. Let me guys know your predictions for this quarterfinals will be taking place on the 9th to the 10th of December. And um, yeah, this has been Job Lesson here. Take care and goodbye.